You couldn't talk about ZBrush without talking about its wonderful subdivision system. What makes it so special is that you can go down in your subdivisions and back up, which means that you can make changes at any level of the model. For example, big changes are best done at a low subdivision and little details are best done at higher subdivisions. You might be wondering, what are subdivisions and how they work? Basically, when you have a mesh, you have polygons, which are these squares right here. To subdivide a polygon is to cut it into four more polygons. By doing this, you make your geometry more dense, and also it allows you to detail it much further. To subdivide, make sure that you are in polymesh 3D mode. Then go to geometry and divide. And as you can see, the big squares are now being cut into smaller squares. If I refresh the polyframe, you can actually see it happen. I'm going to add one more subdivision just for illustration. To go down to the lower subdivisions, simply use this slider right here, the SDiv slider, or use Shift D in your keyboard as the shortcut. This is what the lower subdivision looks like. To go up, simply use the slider again or press T on your keyboard. This makes your workflow so flexible. A lot of people might be concerned that when you're trying to add subdivisions to a hard surface model, something that should have nice straight edges, it actually curves them out, the polygons smooth. Don't worry, I'm going to undo this and show you how to get around that problem. Before you divide, simply click the smooth modifier button, turn it off and divide. See that? We're still subdividing, but without doing that interpolation. Note how difficult it is to create a little smiley face at a low subdivision compared to if we were at a high subdivision. More polygons means more ability for detail. One thing to keep in mind when you are working with subdivisions is that you cannot alter how many vertices there are. Basically, you can't change the vertex ordering. How However, there's a layer on this. If you freeze subdivision levels, you can edit your topology by adding more polygons, dynameshing, and even zero meshing again. If you press the freeze subdivision levels button, you'll actually be able to edit the topology to your needs. You can even dynamesh, use Sculptures Pro, zero mesher, Z modeler, it's up to you. Let's go ahead and click this. It will take us back to the lowest subdivision mode where we can edit our topology. In this case, I will be using a little bit of Sculptures Pro to edit some of the topology. When you're done, click freeze subdivision levels again and it should recalculate.